Do you like cranes? Boy, do I have a deal for you. This video's got cranes. It's Starbase summary here. Content coming out of Starbase, Texas, as we watch them, well, use cranes. Actually prepare for the uh, massive Starship launch pad changes that are happening over there at Pad 1. That's a big alignment screw there from the top rails of the old chopsticks. I guess, can I call it the old LM? The original LM? I think the days of the old LM are coming to a close out there. But we're going to pop back over to the production site, another crane boom getting installed, and then jump over to Orbital Pad 2 again. Wow, let's flip back and forth between those videos really quickly. You can scroll back if you'd like. Here we've got the uh, booster QD hoods up on the top. That one specifically is the LOX booster QD hood. How do we know? I guess you follow the lines. You say, well, that line actually ends up in a uh, LOX tank, and that line ends up in a methane tank. There's some manifolds. You see those huge pipes that have a lot of uh, outlets, I guess, holes, channels for the water to go. This manifold piping for the top of the launch mount. We're going to hop back over to pad one, the old design, the old LM, where you can see they've got uh, a lot of cut marks sort of there. It's a little arty sunset shot, but those green cut marks, I think they're cut marks. We've been calling them cut marks in the previous thing. The Caesar with the artistic uh, vision here. Because it is. It's the sun is setting on the original launch mount. The sun is also setting on the production site, but that's not nearly as poetic because the production site's not going anywhere. <laughs> they still have lots of work to do at the production site. Uh, look, the sun sets roughly once a day, and uh, it doesn't mean that... Like, you can poeticize it if you'd like, but it doesn't really mean anything, except hopefully it'll happen again tomorrow. There's a nose cone <laughs> in the factory. Uh, that one looks like ship 41s. I do like all the comments that tell us how the little numbering system works, the 11U, the 11R, that sort of stuff. We got a 42 and a 43 nose cone in there as well. And a 45, all the way up to 45 down here by pillar 11V, apparently. And again, you see these things. Maybe one day we should go down the row and say, look, this one doesn't have pins, and this one has pins, then this one has this, and that one has that. But anyways... This is all the way back out at the launch mount again. The platform being removed from the chopsticks, the original chopsticks there. And then we're gonna run to Massey's really quick. Wow, we're really all over the map here. Teleportation all over Starbase. With those test tanks that have been out there. Haven't seen a lot of those lately. Big crane, I promised you cranes. Scaffolds too, they sort of come along with cranes sometimes. It's construction equipment really, right? Oh no. Oh, is that a ho Is that hose okay? If anybody remembers the uh, Spin Prime Gone Wrong Hose. Hoses tend to have a short lifespan out at Starbase. There's a booster transport stand back at uh, the assembly storage yard area. Being modified for future designs. Remember they had the old uh, Block 2, V2, Mark 2, whatever you want to call it, designs, and they need to make some modifications. Um, I didn't actually see which booster transport stand this was. No, this isn't. This is just a booster transport stand, but making modifications so that uh, they can carry or they can mate up with all of the pins and holes and rods and clamps go in the right position for uh, changes to the Starship designs, the booster designs. Really, there's a rocket garden. Get shots of the rocket garden on occasion. Starships. I really this well. We know, speaking of, there's a possible breakover tool in the background. We know that, we hope, I think, that uh, we get a booster, oh my gosh, <laughs> displayed somewhere. Not here at Jeb's used Cybertruck yard. They're not used, they're overstock Cybertrucks. <laughs> it's just all lined up there at the entrance to Starbase. We've got Gigabake Tower Cranes as well. Continuing my promise of cranes, uh, you can see another crane pedestal, crane tower, rising here. I think they're going to have one on each corner of the Gigabay. One, two, three. I see three there now. Are they going to? Yes, there is one rising in the background. See the little shorty one in the background? It's not very tall yet. It doesn't have any red bits on top. Nice. Hey, I remember seeing this on Starbase Live. Or 24-7 stream where you can watch what's going on at whatever, y'all know what that is. Starbase Live. Uh, these have been coming in sort of one at a time on trucks. And then this, not baby crane, but this smaller crane. Hey, look, there you go. It's a truck. It's got one beam on it, as promised. Uh, one column. Sorry. 
I remember the comments telling me that there's a difference between a column and a pillar and a beam depending on the stage of construction of the building. Anyways, big piece of steel in a straight line. Looks like an I. Is it an H? I don't know. Depends on which way you rotate it. God, that guy's really hauling on that thing. It's the whole, like, give me a lever and a place to stand and a huge honking crane and I can move the world. Or at least I can move this steel IH beam around where it needs to go. They get it into position and then they hook up to one end of it. So instead of transporting it where you're, they're grabbing it by the center of balance, the center of mass, uh, they grab it by one end so they can pick it up vertically, right? And then they put it on the, the prepared supports, the bolts that they've got in the ground that are sort of where those things attach to. Got some gratuitous spark action, cutting lance here. Now look at these. I, I feel like you could donate this to a kid's park or something. It looks like a great slide for a kid's park, right? Send that into Brownsville to the uh, the community park and make a slide out of the Starship tubing. Probably worth more is scrap, but that it's literally going into a scrap truck. All of that piping that they made for that original launch mount, uh, I custom made for the launch mount. They're putting it in that truck. They're going to haul it away. They're just going to get it the heck out of the way. Uh, not trying to make a trophy of it or anything like that. In any event, we've been watching this, a lot of work, just deconstructing everything, wasting no time to get this stuff the heck out of the way. Oh, hey, look. That's neat. <laughs> thank, thank goodness for, uh, for the 24-7 cameras. Wow, that is a lot of testing of that quick disconnect to going back and forth. I think we had that time lapsed a little bit. Right, that wasn't real-time speed, but uh, the way that those things plug into the bottom of the booster and then unplug and, and cower behind a shield, uh, hide behind a shield, because they don't want to get absolutely roasted by the rocket taking off from the pad. In any event, I'm going to guess that's the moon in the background there. Yeah, I think that is the moon, just behind the behind the tower there with a bunch of condensers in the foreground. Security truck driving around. Very interesting. What? <laughs> Seriously? How many of these, th oh, there's a regular Tesla on the front. How many of these things do they need? Good <laughs> grief. I think we said there was a hundred-ish last time. There are a lot more than a, are they out of room in Austin? Why are they parking? I don't even, I don't even feel like they need that many trucks there. There are a lot of trucks at Starbase, but uh, did, did you hop in those trucks and drive around and do work? Where the heck are you going to park them all if they're not just right there? That is an awful lot of trucks. Huh. It's the new bicycle, I guess. Here we're removing a piece. Uh, the big box truck sort of got in our way. We're removing a piece. We're installing a piece here. I guess we will... So that, that's going down into it. I didn't see it come out of anything. Well, now it looks like it's going up again. <laughs> I'm just I'm like, which way is this thing going? Is it being removed or is it being installed? I think the perspective is sort of messing with me here. Y'all can correct me down in the comments. Ah, yes. Once again. We already did the sun setting on the old LM uh, gag slash mention earlier in the video. It really is. I mean, you're going to come to a part where they're up there cutting that thing apart. And they're taking, uh, they've got the cranes over there and they're just taking pieces off of it. We've seen them taking out valves and actuators and just sort of chucking them into bins and just getting rid of them. Um, it's not even like, oh, we're going to carefully take care of this and reassemble it somewhere else. It's like, nah, we're done with this. It did its launches. It got 11 launches, a couple static fires, even some ship static fires. We're done with it. Get it the heck out of the way. We have new, better launch mount designs that uh, need this space, right? So anyways, it's just scrap bins across the, uh, like, all over the place over there. Huh, helium trailer moved. Cut up in pad one org. I guess that's a... Uh, was that a trailer that has those skinny tanks, right? Those little hot dog tanks. 
um, high pressure tanks is really what they are, but they're moving it around. Sometimes they bring things like this in and, and they'll park it and they'll just use it as storage. It's not that they're trying to uh, carry helium back and forth on a regular basis, right? They just back the trailer and just leave it there and uh, hook it in to the rest of the systems. But I guess it was in the way and luckily it had wheels on it and this truck was able to hook up to it and get it uh, relocated. Of course, if it didn't have wheels on it, that wouldn't have stopped them. They'd use a crane. Remember at the beginning I mentioned cranes? Yeah. They have cranes. See that? That light thing? That light thing has wheels on it, but they were carrying it around with a telehandler. Good grief. You never know what you're going to get out at Starbase. <sighs> oh, what is this? Glapor bags at the ASU site. Foamed glass insulating gravel. Huh. That is a lot of insulating gravel. I guess it's some sort of uh, uh, pourable insulation. Maybe it's load bearing. If it goes, you know, you put it on the ground and the things go on top of it, right? Uh, as opposed to like styrofoam. I don't think you would call styrofoam really a load bearing insulation. If you're putting a big factory piece on it, like if you put a camera in it or something, maybe it bears a little bit of load. But anyways, that's interesting. Um, they're going to use some sort of insulation there to separate their, their cryogeneration from the, uh, the ground, I guess. Maybe they're going to pour it in something. I guess we'll see. There's that progression of nose, loan, nose cones through the factory there. I, I really do think we should go down and do a little explanation that's like, how do we know? And it's like, well, here on this end of the factory, you can see it's a clean nose cone. Looks like a baby's behind. Hardly has any spikes on it as all. At all, as baby's behinds are known to... Whatever. You'll know what I mean. Uh, and then go down the row and show. What? <laughs> they just... Instead of building a new launch mount, why don't they just park cyber trucks and fire the uh, rocket engines directly at the cyber trucks? I'm sure some people think that would make a great ablative or, uh, or or just thrust redirection material to just park a row of cyber trucks there to protect things. Oh, look at that! That's like a transfer tube downcomer sort of thing, and it looks like they have like a special work platform for it. There's actually two of them there. And I guess they sort of work on them in that format and then uh, lift them up and drop them down into the middle. That's or Maybe they're just working on it before they actually put it in. That's actually really cool to see those things sort of leaning there. It really is the, the machine that builds the machine, right? You don't worry or you don't normally wonder, well, how do they take care of that downcome or transfer tube while they work on it? Well, you, you build a stand so you can work on it and get it all ready to insert into the vehicle. In any event, folks... It's a Starbase summary. Remember, you can choose languages down there, or you can go for the ambient track if you choose Klingon. But my name's John. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me, and I will see you nerds later.